Welcome to this talk. My name is John Campbell. I'm a semi-retired clinical nurse, nurse lecturer, academic researcher, author of numerous articles and two uh, textbooks. My specialisms are human physiology and pathophysiology as applied to clinical practice. I've also produced many educational videos which are used extensively around the world. In my view, the UK health authorities should pause the current COVID-19 mass vaccine rollout programme due to the risks associated with the vaccines. As time has passed since the early days of 2020, the number of patients hospitalised with COVID-19 infections has continued to decline since its peak in previous waves. This is clearly seen in data published by the UK government and the Office for National Statistics. In addition, the proportion of patients in hospital with COVID-19 is now greater than the patients admitted to hospital for COVID-19. This is true for general hospital admissions as well as intensive care admissions. In other words, most COVID positive patients admitted to hospital now are incidental and were not admitted purely for complications of COVID. As a result of mass infections during the various waves of the pandemic, especially the huge numbers of people infected with the Omicron variant, most people have developed levels of natural immunity to the virus. This natural infection also generates mucosal compartment immunity in the respiratory tract, which the injected vaccines do not. While prior infection does not always prevent symptomatic disease, it does provide levels of protection against severe disease and hospitalisation. This means the overall risk from COVID-19 infection with sars coronavirus 2 is significantly less than it was when the vaccination programmes were first instigated. However, the risks associated with ongoing vaccinations are probably the same as they were in the early stages of the pandemic and mass vaccination programmes. If I am correct in this evaluation, this means that the risk of COVID-19 infection has gone down, while the risk of vaccination remains the same. This fundamentally alters the risk-benefit analysis of this current mass vaccination programme. I therefore consider that the UK government authorities should pause the current mass vaccination programme until a full population scale risk benefit analysis is carried out and published for free and open peer review. I further call on the UK authorities to review the intramuscular injection technique used in the delivery of the mRNA vaccines. Currently, after insertion of the needle, the syringe is not aspirated to ensure the tip of the needle is not in a blood vessel. This leaves open the possibility of inadvertent intravascular administration, resulting in systemic spread of the mRNA vaccine particles in seconds. This would mean that mRNA vaccine particles would circulate in relatively undiluted form through vessels of the major organs of the body. This video is specific to current mRNA vaccines. I continue to promote the massive benefit of other forms of vaccination in the UK and around the world. Thank you for watching.